That's right. So we were here just about a month ago in Lancaster when that storm slammed through town with the rain, the wind, even that rare tornado. This is some of the damage they're still working to clean up from that event. Now residents say they're just hoping Debbie doesn't undo what they're already working to rebuild. It's just been the wettest summer I've ever seen. Just storm after storm. Andy Nando says they just can't catch a break with this wet weather. As soon as I get done cleaning up, there's another storm that comes through. The front of Nando's property flooded last month, and he's taking the repairs step by step. So I'm constantly working around here, just trying to keep things looking relatively nice. I haven't done any work down in the in the valley down there. There's there's a lot of debris. That's just on his own property. Across the street, the road caved in. Andy says he'd seen the Department of Transportation out there hard at work. They rebuilt the bank that had been washed away. Um, they just came back and paved it yesterday. So, you know, they got a lot of work to do. But even the fastest workers are struggling to keep up with the relentless storms. We've been working really hard to get our town roads up to passable state. It's costing a lot of time, effort, materials, money. Sear says the town is already looking at a massive bill for the existing repairs. We did a preliminary dam damage assessment with FEMA, and that number came in about, I think it was $1.8 million to infrastructure in the town of Lancaster. She says everyone is ready to respond to the remnants of Debbie if they hit Lancaster, but she's really hoping they don't. And we hope that Debbie just stays clear away from us. But in the event it does move in, I'm totally confident that Lancaster will have the necessary bodies in place to um, handle additional potential damages. Town officials say they're working with state representatives to get that federal aid to hopefully reimburse them for some of the existing damages. Live in Lancaster, Isabella Turst, WMUR News 9.